Oh, thank you so much, Jamie. Now we had a beautiful chance to chat to the man himself, as well as a little bit of your time with his family too. Yeah? That's right. Ian von Memeti is going to be on your screens right now, bringing us some much-needed music, especially on this Thursday morning. Well, if you're only joining us now, you're just in time for your daily dose of Feel Good here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso Live on S3. And this morning, we're coming to you live from Glebeja. Glebsy, baby. And we're in the company of entertainment royalty. Ian von Memmerty, of course, is an absolute icon. He's done many, many shows. And we're so lucky to be able to wake up with him and his family. Uh, Kasfia, his daughter, is also on standby to give us a dose of Feel Feel good with a performance of Carol King's Beautiful. And listen to this. The opening sentence to this song is, you've got to wake up every morning with a smile on your face, which is obviously something we strive to do here on the show every morning. So guys, the stage is yours. Take it away. <laughs> Thursday morning. That was beautiful. Come on, Ian and Casbia Von Memeti is here. I mean, you guys really are setting the vibe for uh, this. Well, is this how you wake up every morning as a family? Just like, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you wearing that <laughs> first thing in the morning. That's the thing is, how can you not when this is the tone you're sort of, you know, it's jumping a into? It's a little fluffy. It is a little fluffy. It is a bit expressive. I love it. Listen, what did you think of that performance? Expresso Morning Show, SAVC3, uh, hashtag Expresso Show on Facebook. I mean, we've missed seeing you guys on stage doing this. And lockdown obviously stole that from us. Yeah, uh, so basically I had a full year. I had 33 shows uh, on cruise ships and I had four directing jobs and we basically haven't worked for 15 months. And so that means that our entire life has been upset. We are having to sell the house, having to sell the house. Uh, you have to create a whole new life for yourself. And I'm not uh, feeling sorry for myself. You know, I've uh, had I'm lucky I've got a place to sell so that you can have a future. Mm. And I'm not alone. Mm. You know, you think of all those production companies, mm. all those technical suppliers, 80% of them are bankrupt. Mm. Dancers sleeping in their cars because they can no longer offend, uh, afford rent. It's mm. been a terrible turnaround. Hilton Festival, mm. uh, one of the biggest festivals in the country, 
They are now doing crowdfunding so that they can try and get something up and running again. Well, the message is loud and clear. We've all got to go out there when we see shows being advertised, yes. being promoted, buy tickets, support the arts. That's the one way to really keep this industry alive and open and going. And yes, the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, they've been felt by so many people in all sorts of industries. But this, in essence, is how that's impacted the entertainment industry. We'll see you in a bit.